Did that work? Okay, let's find out if it worked because it didn't work earlier. And we seem to be live. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we'll start in two minutes, says she with confidence. Um, just have to share it. It hasn't, didn't work today, earlier today. So I'm glad it's finally worked. Now I've got to work out quickly, 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 quickly. How to share it started in theory at eight o'clock. So thank you for joining us. Got there, go there. And then I've got to share it. I've got to share, I'm going to share it on the Bubbly Maths page. And um, I do it, I like to do a watch party on my profile. I've got to figure out how to do that. Let me see. I don't think I've been doing it right. Right, go there. And now I've got to work out how to share it. No, that's not it. Live's not actually on the page yet. Now, I, uh, on the on the group yet. This is on the group, and there's the theory. That's not it. That's what I did this morning. I've done through this is my fourth live today. I did a live at nine so that the people east of here, here and east of here, can um, benefit. And when I did Easter eggs, Easter egg puzzles, the platonic, it's my platonic puzzle workshop. But I thought it would be nice to make Easter egg, like balloon Easter eggs for Easter. Let's see if we got it. Oh, that's us. Share. I'm going to share it on Bubbly Maths. First of all, share to a page. Technology. Here we go. Easter egg puzzles. East, I'll just put Easter egg puzzles. Sounds good, doesn't it? Easter egg puzzles. Whoops. The balloon puzzles, but there you go. But you can do it. don't have to be with balloons. You can use paper sticks. There's a whole video on how to make paper sticks. I'll put a link in there. I've got four lives I've got to follow up and put links in the, the bottom on, underneath at the moment. So that's, let me just copy paste that so that I can put that, ooh, I have to keep typing it out. Copy, post, right. It's on the Bubbly Maths page now. I'm gonna share it and see if I can start a watch party. Ooh, that's my watch party, good. That's what I'm going to do there. And that's what I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch a watch party. Okay. Right. Okay. And it is eight o'clock and I'm ready to go. <gasps> no way. Oh, I've got to turn the volume off that one. And then ready to go. So we have, I, I built this one this morning. This was our Easter egg this morning. Our Easter egg. It's a ge geometric shape. It's called a cube octahedron. So it's my version of Easter eggs. So happy Easter to all of you. Happy Passover. And just I hope you've had a lovely day. It's been in, for Christians and Jews, it's been a, a day of, of reflection, I guess. And our Easter eggs are pre all of that. So pre-religion, so we're just in, it's, 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 the, it's spring, it's a celebration of spring, and eggs are part of spring. So here you go, here's my geometric Easter egg, which is an cube octahedron, you can see the one, two, whoops, hold on, let's do it systematically, one, two, three, four, five, six squares in a cube and then you see there's triangles there's one triangle for every edge of a square so that's four on this side four on this side and four add four makes eight so cube octa eight hedron hedron is a face so the next puzzle is this now, I couldn't actually hear what people were saying. Hi, Maria, how are you doing? Hi, Shilpa. Hey, Liz, my cousin from South Africa is on. I love my cousin, my cousin Lydia. It's like, you know how you have some people in your life, you've got family and you've got people you love and you've got, there are some people that are just, you love in an extra special way. 
sorry everybody else but Liz is one of those and there are others but she's not the only one but I love my cousin Lydia okay so this one I have to make a 3d shape out of this now all of these this isn't this is actually an example of not what we're making this is not a platonic solid it is a regular what is it called semi-regular semi-regular solid so it's every edge is the same length but every but is every vertex the same maybe yeah every vertex is actually the same but every shape is not the same every the shape of every face is not the same so this is a semi-regular uh, solid it's not a platonic solid there are only a certain amount of platonic solids where every face is the same shape Every vertex has the same number of edges and every edge is the same length. Now, I do have to make a disclaimer. Disclaimer alert. Awooga, awooga. By the way, I'm Caroline or Bubbles from Bubbly Math. And um, just had to mention that, just introduce myself. Okay. Who else have we got? That's it for now, I think. That's on the watch party. I can't see the comments if you're on the 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 making math fun group and i can't see the comments if you're on the bubbly maths page but i will um comment later i will respond later so please do make your comments if you have any requests if you have any questions this is all about helping parents um with maths at home so this is something by the way do i'm obviously doing it with balloons you can do it with balloons yes you can you can also do it with paper sticks and I will put a link in the comments below on um, a YouTube video on how on making paper sticks. It makes life a lot easier. You can use straws, you can use pipe cleaners, you can use lots of things. So, right, we are making the first platonic solid. Every face must be the same shape. And I can hear you screaming. You're going, yes, just, just do it. Just stop messing with my head and kapow. By joining that in there, we've gone from a 2D with the two triangles to just by moving that down there, we've gone to a 2D shape with one, two, three, and four triangles. It's called a pyramid, a triangular base pyramid. Every face is the same shape, so it actually doesn't matter what all the all the faces could be a base and its other name is a tetrahedron and anyone that knows me knows that it's like my utterly favorite shape because me and a group of my amazing friends hold the guinness world record for the world's largest sapinski tetrahedron which is a, we actually made a 2.64 meter edge edge of pyramid like really big it almost filled this room would have pretty much reach the ceiling of this room made out of lots of little ones of these it's a fractal it's a it's a big shape made out of lots of same shapes smaller shapes in ever decreasing size so that is the tetrahedron which is the first platonic shape and it's got platonic solid it's got one two three four faces it's called a tetrahedron now the other disclaimer is that this isn't actually a tetrahedron sorry it is like the skeleton of a tetrahedron. The way to make it a tetrahedron would be to cover it in wrapping paper, and make it a solid or fill it with chocolate or something, anything to make it a solid because a real tetrahedron is a solid. It's got actual flat faces that are covered and it doesn't have holes in it. Can't really see you through there. Right, it'll be easier to see you through this one. This is the second platonic solid. So that one's got four faces. Every face must be the same shape. Every vertex must have the same number of edges and every edge is the same length. So what shape is this going to be? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. I hope you were screaming now. It's a, it's a what? There's another square. So we have three, and now we have one, two, three, 
four squares. So if we now, as you're screaming, asking me to do it, join that in there, how many squares will we have? Five? Or, yeah, well, it's late. Everyone watching now is probably knows perfectly well. Oh, hello, hello, Roddy. Oh, that's one of the other. Oh, and it's Captain Calamity. Captain Calamity, you haven't yet put a link in. Please do put a link. Dog puts, um, does a, a, a live, lots of lives, lots of really entertaining lives. Please put in a link to your YouTube channel or your Facebook page, whatever you want. Please, dog, please do. I'd, be, I'd love people to see that. And Monica's here as well. Hello, Monica. Okay, thank you for joining. Right, so, oh, and what do we have? We have, oh, you know that, it's a cube. So instead of, let's see, we went from three to four, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, six faces. So we have a platonic solid with four faces made of triangles, a platonic solid with six faces made with, so we can call that a cube, or we can also, this is a tetrahedron, which means four faces. We can also call this a hexahedron, which means six faces. Okay, that's two platonic solids. Two platonic solids. Now the next one is quite, is, the, is probably the hardest. The next one we actually did last night. So if you were on the live last night, you'll already know this one. We've got three squares. We're going to make a platonic solid. Now, platonic solid is a polyhedron. Polyhedron means it has many faces. And a polyhedron is made up of polygons. Now, if you've already heard this joke, you're going to know the answer to this. I expect you to tell me the answer. I'm looking at the, 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 the comments. What is a polygon? I'm waiting. A polygon is an empty parrot cage. I'm waiting for someone to actually give me that answer. Hi, Joanna. It's an empty parrot polygon. Polly the parrot gone, empty parrot cage. Got it? Okay, cool. Right, just as long as we're on the same page or parrot cage, parrot cage. Mm. So we've got three squares. Great. This is a polyhedron. It's made of many faces and it's made up of 2D shapes. This is a polyhedron, so that's a tetrahedron. It's a polyhedron, it has more than one, many faces. Tetra means four, tetrahedron. Polyhedron, it's, got, it's a hexahedron, it's got six faces, more than one. This one, how many faces is this one gonna have? Now, with these threads, it will still have three squares, what shape shall I make? Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know the one you mean. I know the one you got. There it is. Yep. The three squares we can make a triangular prism. Now, I said that a regular polyhedron, every face must be the same shape. Every vertex must have the same number of edges. Well, we've got a problem already because we've got two edges stuck on one, as it were, and this. And we've got triangles at the front and back, which is a triangular prism. And the other faces are squares. So it's not a uh, regular polyhedron. It's not a platonic solid. Because in a platonic solid, every face must be the same shape. I'll give you a clue. Every face is going to be a triangle. I'll give you another clue. I'm going to join these two together. The squares must will still be squares. When we're done, Squares will still be squares. Okay. So now that's your clue. We've got one more square. See? Well, it's not quite a square, they're squished. So by the time when this is inserted, they will all still be squares. So I'll pull it through like this. And that'd be kind of fun. That's a fun shape. Definitely a 3D shape not a regular polyhedron because every face is not the same shape and for this shape there are no polygons none of the faces are polygons there's no faces really they're just sort of an amorphous shape they're not 
polygons, that's for sure. So, yes, I know, I know. We put it down like this. There we go. We're going to put it down over there. Over here. Yeah. I do actually make it a little bit easier for you because I, I make sure there's one of these bubbles on every vertex. So when we join them together, there's only one bubble on every vertex. So now we have another Easter egg. It's as our poly, uh, polyhedral, our platonic Easter egg. We, every face is a triangle and every vertex has four edges. That one has four, 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 that one has four. One has four. Have lots of symmetries of shape. Now, every face is a, so what else do we have? And the, le the length of every edge. Well, they're all made out of squares and all the squares were as best as I could make them the same. So we still have a yellow square, a red square, uh, that colour, orange square, and a green square. And it's got how many faces on that? In my hand, we've got one, two, three, four triangles. And on this side, we have also one, two, three, four. So four and four, eight. Now, for those of you who say, it's a diamond, just to let you know, there's no word for diamond in the maths. The, math, the language of mathematics. Because there's too many things that could be a diamond. It could be something on your ring, on your finger. It could be something in your nose. It could be something on your tooth. It can be, some people call a square that's bent over a diamond. Some people call a rhombus a diamond, which is like a squished, a flat, a squished down square. Some people call a kite a diamond. And a mathematician goes, Mwah. Don't call it all these different things. Just give me very specific names. So this one has very specific name. They're all polyhedra. They have many faces. And this has how many faces? Eight faces. So it's an octa. Yes, like the octopus. Octahedron. Perfect. Next. Right, we're nearly there. Right, what's the next one? Oh, it's over here. I've got it. I've got it. Excuse me. Right. Da, da. So we, these could be, this could be the aliens from, what's that planet? That movie that, never mind, there's a, there's a movie that looks, but the aliens look a bit like this when they come down, the spaceships look a bit like this. But let me see. Every face is a, uh, how many sides has it got? How many edges has it got? One, two, three, four, five. So this is the beginning of it. There's two of them. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> that wasn't very much fun. There's two pentagons. That's the name for that shape. What's critical isn't the name of it. What's critical is that you recognize the properties of it. So it's got five faces. So can we make a regular polyhedron using pentagons? Let's find out. So I'm going to start with, so the rule is every face must be the same shape, every vertex must have the same number of edges, and every edge must be the same length. So let's start with one of these. Got to start somewhere, right? I've folded that in half effectively and made a little bubble at the end. I'm going to take one of the pink ones and I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to wrap that. Woo! I'm going to wrap that bubble around the end, lock it in, sorry, lock it in place and make another bubble. Now, every face has got to be the same shape, so every face is going to be a pentagon. So we're going to check every time we join it together, we're going to check that we're making a pentagon. Is that a pentagon? Yes. Oh, the other thing, I, I, the way I make the puzzle, by heart, I did actually work this out for myself. And there's a couple of these here. One of them came literally from by heart. I did not work it out. This one I did work it out, but it turns out the by heart uses, um, makes the same pattern. So I'm gonna credit her with it because I think she came up with it before I did, but I'm gonna put a link to by heart's work at the, at the bottom here as well. She does amazing, amazing work, some great YouTube videos. I'm gonna put a link to hers as well. 
But I did work this out myself. I worked it out in a place called Els in Denmark. Sonnenberg, I don't even know the name of the town, but it's, um, it's where I was when I worked it out. And I was dead chuffed with myself. And then I discovered that by heart had done it as well. So I'm like, you know what? Let's give by heart the credit. Now, here we go, I've got to make another point. Oh, I was going to say that every time you join together, you always join the opposite colours. That helps a little bit. That's why I'm making two different colours. So if you paint again, yes, make another bubble. Join it to the opposite colour. So the next one along, we're using being systematic. Being systematic when you're doing maths is really, really, really helpful. So writing things down systematically, logging what you're doing systematically, working through a puzzle systematically, that's super helpful. Right, here's another one now. These balloons are a bit, a bit overinflated. So anyway, so we're going to make the next one. Is it a pentagon? Yes. Yeah. Right. What colour was it? What colour popped? It was a uh, pink. Quick, 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 quick. Oh dear. Oh, there they are. Found it. Right. My ear's still ringing. <sighs> Way. That's what it is. There's the end of it. There we go. Hold that in there. And that one goes in there. And that goes there. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So that's a pentagon. And one more. And that goes. That's where we were. So back to where we started, where we finished. So there's a pentagon. So those two together, but we don't want this big long bit because that was our repair piece. There we go, try that, and then I've got a bit of spare there now. I've got a spare pink, so hopefully none of the purple will pop because I don't have any spare purple. And tie that off so it doesn't deflate. Right, here we go. We're going pentagons, another pentagon, another pentagon. So each time we're making pentagons. And if I'm facilitating this, I will actually be asking how many pentagons. And I'm not gonna tell you how many pentagons, I'm gonna let you work it out. I'm gonna even let you, you know, I'll tell you the name. I'll tell you what it means, but I'm, that's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? I'm gonna tell you the name, I'll tell you what it means, but I'm not gonna tell you how many pentagons there are. Oh well, never mind. Oh, the last one we started off by maybe you didn't probably didn't notice that I put two together there. And the last one to make the pentagon is kapow, kabang. Now, if you do decide to take on the challenge of making this out of balloons, if you leave the bubbles, these little bubbles on the outside, they serve two purposes. One is to hold them together, but it also holds them in that nicely out in that geometric shape. So every face is. I'm not going to tell you the shape. I am going to tell you the name of the shape. The name of the shape is a dodecahedron. 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 I'm going to tell you that much. I'm going to let you work out how many faces it is. So notice every face. There's a pentagon there. There's a pentagon there. And then there's a pentagon, one pentagon attached to every edge of this pentagon. And there's one pentagon attached to every edge of this pentagon. So if you can boing, 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 see if you can work it out. Right, dodecahedron. So that's the fourth platonic solid. Got one more to make. Now, so we've got one made out of triangles. That's a tetrahedron with four faces. We've got one made out of squares. That's a hexahedron with crook faces. We've got one made out of triangles. It's an octahedron with 
eight faces and we've got one more. Bear with me. Let's see if anyone else has joined us. Oh, Johan. Hi, Johan. Are the girls watching? I say hi to Debbie. Okay, right. This one, I'll give you one guess. Remember, it's a regular solid. So what is going to be the shape of every face? Yes, it's a triangle because every vertex is going to have the same number of edges. Every face is going to be the same shape and every edge is going to be the same length. Now, what you don't know yet is how many edges they're going to be on every vertex. I'll tell you that now. That is now a complete vertex. And I deliberately, this, this is by heart's design. I, I learned, I, I worked out, a, a colleague shared the shape with me as a blue modeler. And the, the way he shared it with me, I literally spent hours working out how to do it. And then, and then I found Vi Hart's thing. I thought, oh, this is so perfect because it makes really good sense. And I now use that in the workshops. Vi Hart's idea I use in the workshop. So two, it's actually three different colors. And whenever you have one vertex, there's a bubble, or I put, I put anyway, a bubble on every vertex. I don't know if Vi does, but I do. And we've got three of one color and two of another. Every single vertex will have three of one color and two of another, and it really helps you work it out because it can be very difficult. Otherwise, it can took me hours to work it out until I used by heart's pattern. Now, so every vertex has three of one color, two of another, and I don't know if I does, but I definitely have one bubble on every. This is like your, your glue. It's what joins them together, and. The opposite to the dodecahedron where the bubbles are on the outside, so this shape, the bubbles stay on the inside and then it, it holds its shape better. So there's two and there's another one there. Now, let me just show you this. There's two orange, two yellow and two green of these sh pre-made shapes. So how many triangles are we starting off with? There's two orange, two, or two orange, two yellow and two green. How many triangles are we starting off with? We're starting off with how many triangles? Each of one of these has two, so there's two orange, two, two orange, two yellow, and two green. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve triangles to start off with. You've got twelve triangles to start off with. You've got twelve triangles to start off with. So shape is going to have we're going to add triangles so it's going to have more than 12 triangles so how many triangles do you think the shape is going to have so we're going to do, all we're going to do is make triangles it's a platonic solid a regular solid so all we're going to do is make triangles so we've got what we're going to do now is we're going to join make more triangles but we're never going to join the same two colors together and every time we make a new triangle it's going to have it's going to be made of all three colours. So there's one. I'm now going to count the new triangles. That's where I'm going to do it. That's one. I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'm going to count the triangles. Two. Another triangle. Three. Another triangle. Four. Another triangle. Five. Hi, Johnny. Johnny Garcia is on in in the in the in the building. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Well, just sorry to say hello to you there. He's on he's on my phone over there, so I'm waving over there. So, hi, Johnny. Um, forgotten how many we've got now. Uh, I hope you you know because I've forgotten. And here's one more. So that's six. And then nearly finished. So how many, if I join those two together, how many triangles are we going to make? And how many will that make in all? We started with 12, we've got six, we've got whatever this is going to make. I'm not going to tell you what the total is. Put all the triangles, all the bubbles inside. So we have, whoops, there's another bubble on the outside, it's a bubble. So we have another Easter egg. 
And this one's called an icosahedron. It's an icosahedron. It's made up of triangles. Every vertex has five edges. Every vertex has five triangles on it. There's five at the top, five opposite it, and then each one of the bases has one triangle attached. So I'll let you work out how many triangles it is in all. It's an icosahedron. And so that's it. That's all the platonic solids there are. And these are our Easter eggs, my Easter egg gifts to you. Lovely shapes. I've got one more. There we go. Happy Easter with my lovely bubbly Easter eggs. Thank you for joining. I'll put links to all the names and everything down below, but I might not do it tonight. I might do it tomorrow. Happy Easter. Thank you for joining. And oh yes, and there's a YouTube channel, there's Bubbly Maths YouTube channel, there's Maths Toys YouTube channel, and there's um, something else as well. But I've forgotten what it is. So, happy Easter. Thank you for joining. Oh yes, the Aiming High. Hello, the Aiming High website, and there are puzzles for doing these with paper sticks. And I'll send you all the links and all the links will be below. Thank you. Bye-bye. Whoop, now I've got to stop it. Start every show with a techno techno phobe moment. Bye.